Hello, my name is Dr. Owen O'Carroll. I'm currently a lecturer in Biomedical Engineering at the School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering in University College Dublin, Ireland, and I'm formerly of Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard Medical School, where my co-authors, Calvin Ng and Geoffrey Carp are located. Our article, entitled Emerging Medical Devices for Minimally Invasive Cell Therapy, will appear in an upcoming issue of the Proceedings of the Mayo Clinic. This article is part of the Proceedings Symposium on Regenerative Medicine. In this paper, we sought to explore the emerging use of minimally invasive devices in cell therapeutic delivery. We feel that although significant focus is now paid to cell therapeutic clinical trial design, the tools used in delivering cells and sustaining their viability and functions in vivo warrant closer scrutiny. To answer many of the open questions on whether the benefits of cell therapy can be realized locally or systemically, we feel that the field of regenerative medicine could benefit hugely from improved ways of delivering, monitoring and sustaining transplanted cells. Cell therapy is being conducted using a variety of delivery methods with varying specificity and invasiveness in fields such as neural and orthopedic regeneration. However, for this paper, we chose to focus on two particular areas where minimally invasive devices are having a significant impact on cell therapy in a relatively controlled and precise manner, namely delivery devices for cardiovascular cell therapy and macroencapsulation devices for the delivery of immunoisolated cell populations in the treatment of diabetes. From a snapshot of current clinical trials, we see that approximately 25% of investigated indications consist of diseases that could broadly be termed as systemic, yet approximately 50% of delivery routes, primarily through intravenous injection, could be deemed non-targeted. We compare the specificity and, and invasiveness of current devices and methods used in cell delivery to the heart, and we highlight some of the common issues associated with the minimally invasive injection of cells. We also summarise potential advantages and disadvantages of techniques for cell encapsulation and document the progress of multiple cell macro encapsulation devices heading towards clinical use in the treatment of diabetes. In conclusion, we feel that it's important to remember that cells delivered in suspension are fragile and will not act as a conventional drug solution and should not be treated as such. New tools are needed to streamline the delivery of cells from the donor to the patient and are critical for enabling the widespread adoption of cell therapy at the point of care in a clinical setting. Finally, we would like to thank the Mayo Clinic for allowing us to contribute to this excellent symposium and look forward to hearing any questions or comments from you, the readers. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.